Hi, I'm Kevin Knight. I'm a professor in the USC Viterbi Computer Science Department. I teach CSCI 662, which is Advanced Natural Language Processing. Uh, this course covers anything machines do with human language. It's designed for PhD students who want to do research in natural language or computational linguistics. Um, it's an unusual class because it's not just about what the state of the art in natural language processing is, but I stress fundamental algorithms that help us think about how text is analyzed and generated. So we'll delve into unsupervised machine learning algorithms, deep learning, probabilistic inference, uh, that lets software learn to solve tasks without lots of hand-labeled examples. Right now, companies are racing to build automatic personal assistants that are going to be able to do just about anything. Speak English, answer questions, carry out commands, tell stories, translate from Chinese, you name it. Uh, once natural language software can digest all the information that it reads on the internet, it'll have the knowledge to power uh, these kinds of applications and many more. Um, the companies I mentioned are driven by research, so if you'd like to ride that wave, this is the knowledge that you need to have. The first part of the course deals with sequences. Sequences of words, sequences of letters, sequences of sounds, and how we can transform them. Uh, there's a lot of applications for sequence algorithms. Uh, one is automatic language translation. That's a scenario where your input is a sequence of Russian words and the output is a sequence of English words. Then in the course we move to algorithms over trees because human language has a recursive nested tree structure. Uh, a sentence can contain another sentence and a noun phrase can contain another noun phrase. Uh, we also cover the meanings of sentences uh, as manipulated formally by graph algorithms. After the course, you'll be familiar with a wide range of natural language applications. Uh, and even more importantly, you'll have the conceptual and algorithmic tools to solve new problems, uh, which is what you'll have fun with in this class and in academia or industry later on. The programming assignments are challenging but rewarding, and, uh, and students follow their own interests in the final course project. So for example, there you can work with systems that answer questions about restaurants, systems that decipher historical manuscripts, and systems that generate poetry. Uh, in fact, if you install our custom poetry skill on Alexa, you can tell her to write poetry using our systems. How will it come out? Well, as the great poet Carl Sandburg once said, I've written some poetry that I don't understand myself. So uh, it'll be a great class and uh, hope to see you there.